Hi guys and welcome to my channel, Memoirs of an Empress, A Silver Lining. If you're here for the first time, welcome. And if you're coming back, I welcome you back. Happy Sunday, everyone. It is a beautiful Sunday. I am on my way to church, but before I go to church, I like to do my vlogs. It's just a way I do things and I feel very comfortable doing it. And so this morning, we are going to be talking about learning his love language. Yes, ladies. I am doing, I am currently doing a special, okay? I usually do uh, spiritual vlogs and I will discuss Bible, scripture, and, um, you know, this is a spiritual platform. But I wanted to do something a little different this week and I wanted to be able to be relatable and so sometimes you have to um, step out the box for a minute not too far because we do incorporate scripture and everything is about praising God but this week I am doing dating in the 21st century and I think you're gonna like it so today I'm discussing learning his love language God I'm going to jump right in it. Learning his love language. So, men and women have very different ways of showing love, okay? We are all created by a wonderful, wonderful, awesome God who gave us the gift of uniqueness. So, ladies... We must learn our man's love language. And this can go for a man too, you know. Um, you have to learn your woman's love language, okay? Significant other, spouse, what have you, okay? Everyone will have different ways they say, I love you or I care for you. Let me give you an illustration, okay? You have two women in two relationships. Okay, one, uh, let's give a scenario. Let's say you girls are out. You're doing a little shopping. You're together with your girlfriend. You're doing shopping. You're both in relationships, committed relationships. Okay, so one woman is getting calls from her uh, spouse all day long. I mean, he's calling to check on her. He's calling to see what she brought. He's calling to see how she's doing. He's calling to see if she ate. He's calling to see, you know, if she's happy. Just he is calling. And that is very, very flattering. You must admit, that is very flattering. In fact, some of us might look at it, and if we're not careful, we can start to compare in relationships. Well, what is your man doing? Well, why is her man calling her and checking on her? And hey, I haven't got a call all day. I feel, you know, I, I'm in my feelings now. I feel some type of way, you know. Am I not desirable? Am I not enough? You know, what's going on with my calls? Okay, let's keep listening. And so... Now, you have the other girlfriend. Now, her spouse, you know, may have put some cash in her account. So, she checks her account and she says, okay, I came shopping. I had a budget of $300. But now, I look at my account. Hey, there's an extra 100 there. And you get a little text and it says, like, you know, I didn't know how much money you had or what you would wanted, but I dropped a little extra funds in your account, okay? So that's a way, that's two different ways that different men express love. Which brings me to, people have different ways that they say, I love you, okay? I just call to say, I love you, right? People have different ways of expressing love. Don't get caught up looking at your girlfriend's man 
or your girlfriend's spouse or even husband and feeling like your relationship is lacking. Instead, put that emphasis and that energy on your relationship and learn to identify your man's love language, okay? So we're talking today about love language, okay? So, we see people have different ways of expressing love, okay? One person might cook you a nice dinner. The next person might take you out. One person might get you a Chanel bag. The next person might get you, you know, maybe a heart with some candy in it. One person might call. The next one might text. One might, uh, you know, take you on a luxurious vacation. The other one, you might go to a cabin and just, you know, spend some quality time and share some uh, marshmallows, roasted marshmallows. Who knows? Learn your man's love language, okay? Because honestly, when we can learn to love on another person's strengths, instead of, we build on strengths and not weaknesses. So I say that to say, you know, the way a person expresses love you never want to down it. You never want to make them feel bad because, you know, the way we express love has a lot to do with the way we were loved or the way we grew up seeing love displayed, you know. And I say that to say um, everyone is not in the same area of growth, okay? Okay. We're all growing and we're all growing at a different rate, okay? And we, some of us are eating solid foods, okay? And some are still drinking milk. You know how a baby goes from milk to baby food to maybe hand food. They can, you know, eat spaghetti maybe and then they go to more solids, meats, etc. So in a relationship, you want to allow God to develop that person. Hey, maybe his love language right now is I'm going to give you, you know, a day of Netflix and we eat some grilled cheese. <laughs> but the next year it might be, hey, you know, we're going to go out to dinner at your favorite restaurant. You know, give him time to grow. And you guys learn each other love language. Now, I usually always share a little special um, testimony of mine. So, um, right now, I don't have my car. My car is broke. She's sick. Her name is Glitter, and um, Glitz is sick. But glory to God, he's already confirmed the new vehicle coming. So, it's coming. But right now, um, me and my significant other are on public transportation and it can be very challenging when you're not used to that but um I had you know I usually travel with my girlfriends who do drive you know healthy vehicles and uh, <laughs> I was um with a girlfriend and um she took me to this place that had the best wings that you ever tasted they had garlic parmesan they had barbecue. It was a wing bar. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really good. And we had access to the Asian bar and access to the so salad toss bar and access to cookies that were being made um, specifically designed for you. It was awesome. And I said, I want to bring my baby here. He has to experience this. And so yesterday we had a beautiful day and we went and, um, you know, I told him, I said, I'm about to do a vlog about love language. Do you see how I express my love language to you? My girlfriend uh, put me on to something that was like really good. And I put you on because I experienced it and I wanted you to experience it. And he said, I definitely understand what love language is. And so I hope that I was able to um, illustrate 
what love language is, okay? So, we all have a love language. Learn to study your man and recognize his love language. Don't get caught up in coveting your friend's man or husband or even worse, or um, comparing your man to other men. Put your energy into seeing how your man thinks and how you can embark on a wonderful, fulfilling, loving relationship. And the two can enjoy one another's love language. That is my vlog for today. It was very short, guys. Um, so I hope you got something from it. Too many times I see, um, you know, friends and they're in relationships and relationships in because it's too much comparison and it's too much coveting. And coveting, coveting is a word that is in the Bible. And we really don't want to covet. When you covet, it's not like you're happy for someone. It's like, I want that for myself. That's not a good attitude. Actually, it's very bad. Um, it is attached to jealousy. And we know that jealousy is green with envy. No, we have to be happy for what God is doing in our lives. We have to be happy with whatever he gives us, whether it's a grain of rice or a bag of rice, whether it's a small pea or, you know, a, 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 a big dish of something great. Because God is great. He is awesome. He is the bread of life. He is the gift giver. He is amazing, the great I am. And he has something for everyone in due time, right? So we have to be grateful. So learning to recognize your man or your woman's love language is absolutely beautiful. Now, let me just give an example to the men. Yes, I can speak to the men. I have five sons, okay? I can speak to the men. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm very versatile. So let me talk to the men. You have a woman. And maybe your woman, you know, displays her love language with uh, taking you to nice, luxurious hotels. And, you know, um, you know, you guys do it up, you know, very um, richly, you know, monetary, very fine. She can, hey, she has the fun. She can do that. And then there's another guy where maybe his wife just puts on something seductive and beautiful and you guys share some time at home, you know, with a handmade dinner. Does it mean that you should covet your brother? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Learn to appreciate whatever love language you are receiving, okay? As long as it's done with love from the heart, I'm sure it's going to be good. So now with that said, guys, I made a banana pudding last night. And I'm in a supermarket and I was craving banana pudding since last week. And I wanted a banana pudding so bad. And I'm like, oh, I got to make a banana pudding because I can cook. Okay. Let me just let y'all know a sister can throw down. During COVID, I took cooking classes and I can cook, honey. And thank God, because my man, he loves food. We always say we're foodies. We both love food. But I don't really think he could be with a woman that couldn't cook because he likes food a lot. And so um, I made a banana pudding, in which he does not eat. But I was craving a banana pudding. And last night, I went to the refrigerator like three times for some banana pudding. And so my girlfriend's on her way over. And her name is Cassandra. And she... Will be over soon. And Cassandra, if you're watching this, I am so happy that you're gonna come eat some banana pudding before church because I would have finished the whole thing. Now, see, I have a man and he likes thick girls. He actually said, We thickums are winning at, right now. And so I don't think that my thighs are gonna get any smaller. You know, maybe in the New Jerusalem, maybe. I don't know. But I like food, I love it. And so I have to balance it because, you know, with everything in life, there is balance. And so I'm happy to share the banana pudding and also show Cassandra my love language. Hey, so love language can go in a roman romantic relationship, in a uh, relationship with friends that is not romantic, but it's still a relationship, even a relationship with your children. 
My children show me their love languages in different ways. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My littlest son, my smallest son, he might have the most gigantic love language. I mean, his love language is, ooh, huge. And then my other son, he's very sensitive and sweet. And he has he has the love language where, oh, my God, guys, my son, Champion. Okay, his name is Champion. We call him Champ. When I get tired, and when I get tired, it's usually because I have been to the park with them, to the pool with them, to McDonald's with them, uh, maybe to the store again, and I'm coming back home, and I'm tired, and then I'm cooking, and I'm going and going and going. So by the time I lay down, I am so tired, and my son shows me his love language. He will massage my feet and rub my legs. I don't care if it took me an hour to get to sleep, and it's the best sleep. And all I could do in the morning is remember that my son rubbed me until I went to sleep. Um, my little son, shout outs to you, champion. Uh, my little son, Justin, he kisses me and hugs me and we read books. And, um, you know, he just, he will text me, his, you know, that's his love language. Mom, did you get to work? Mom, are you okay? Mom, what are you doing at work now? Mom, amen. Mom, I love you. Mom, did you text me a minute ago? I was in the bathroom. Mom, I mean, it's amazing. And my oldest children, they show me their love language in many different ways. My son sent me the most endearing prayer on TikTok the other night. And my fiance was like, are you okay? Because I was just bawling in tears. God bless you today. Happy Sunday, guys. Love and light. As we say on my channel, there's a silver lining in everything. You just have to see it with your spiritual eyes, okay? Tomorrow, my uh, vlog will be about... My vlogs are going to get juicy. Dating in the 21st century will get juicy, okay? And I want to say this. Let me say this because I put this on my Facebook today. Yes, guys, I have a Facebook. Please follow me on Facebook at Janine Dana. I have an Instagram, The Little Team Hunters. It's a picture of me and my children because I have a few pages, but I don't want you to go to just every page. I want you to want go to the one that I'm utilizing now and I have been utilizing for a few months now. And it's a picture of me and my children and I won't change the picture. Um, Not yet anyway. But... um. What was I going to say? Oh, so here on my channel, let me let let me get this out because I put this on Facebook today. This is a no judgment zone, okay? Meaning, we don't want your judgment here. Comments, yes. You can put your opinion because, you know, everyone has one. But what I mean is don't come to my page looking for perfection. Well, she says she's an evangelist. Well, she said she's a missionary. Well, she says she preaches the gospel, but, you know, um, she might have shared something that wasn't too Christian. Let me let you know. There is no judge. There's no mediator between man and God except Jesus Christ. And if you don't have a hell or a heaven to put me in, don't judge. Enter this page, this channel, this forum, this vlog, this podcast at your own risk, okay? So we are going to be talking about a lot of things. And yes, I will make a lot of boo-boos in my talks. I make boo-boos all the time. I am imperfect, an imperfect woman trying to do it God's way. But anyway, I love you guys. My next vlog is going to get juicy. So my next vlog will be let God develop him. My next vlog is going to be about letting God develop him, ladies. Letting God develop him. I love you. Love and light. Until next time, like, subscribe, and share. Bye.